This is going to be one of the easiest new ways of installing the radiator grill guards behind these actual grills. Let's see what Mark's doing. Hey Mark! Hey Mike! What's going on, man? What's up, man? How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good to see you. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, man, on a nice chilly Dallas day, huh? It doesn't look bad out there, but it's it chilly. Bad. It's a little chilly, yeah. We yeah. got our uh, long sleeve. I just got home from work, so I saw oh, I got yeah. my uh, work stuff off, but I'm excited. I wanted to get our grill guards on. Getting dressed up for the grill guards. Getting dressed up for the grill guards, that's <laughs> right. That's right. How are you? How are you? Good, man. Good. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Pretty so, soon you'll have a shirt on that I think the uh, Freak of Speed community is going to want to buy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. We Very got a, a really awesome shirt coming their way. Okay, good deal. Good yeah. deal, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So there you have it. We are over at Mark's. We're about to do a DIY do-it-yourself uh, radiator grill guards on the front of his 2022 C8 Corvette. We're gonna put some more protection on the car. And by the way, he's about to put a lot more protection on the car. So we're really getting this thing protected. That way he can drive it all the time, <laughs> all the time. <laughs> anyway, before we get started, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, <laughs> if you guys don't wanna miss a single one of these episodes, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. All right, let's get started on this uh, radiator grill protection. All right, now, Mike, before we start, I know this is a surprise to you, but uh, we have a little gift for you. Oh, really? Yes, we do. What do you got? Go over to the wall over there. There's a couple of things I got for you. Oh, really? Yeah, take a look. Am I going to have to go underneath your lift? Yes, you do have to go underneath my lift. Oh, go my God. It's not I'm going to bump my head. Go underneath. Check it out. Now turn that around. Oh my gosh, I can already tell turn what it this around. is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Holy cow, that is amazing. We didn't know if you liked this is for me and Jim from uh, you know one of your subscribers. He lives close. Yeah. And he saw these and he thought it'd be a great gift. And me and That's him went amazing. in on it. That's amazing. Thank you. Something for maybe your garage wall, garage art. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And, and then there's this? another one. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's amazing. So there's another. That'll go in the office for sure. Yeah, that's yeah, very good. Awesome. Excellent. Awesome. So anyway, we thought Thank we'd get Thank you that. so much. Maybe you should move that. Or no, you can leave it there. We're not shooting grease or anything like that. <laughs> but yeah, just thought we'd, uh, we'd get that for Sweet. you. Thank you yeah. so much. That's uh -huh. amazing. Mark truly is the best neighbor ever. All right, Mark. So tell us what we're going to do here. Because real quick, this is going to be one of the easiest new ways of installing the radiator grill guards behind these actual grills. Yeah, as you know, we, on one of your previous videos, we installed one on Mark T's car, and it was one in the front, right? right? And it was just had the press-in tape kind. Right. Uh, and I think with his, you couldn't get to the uh, latch mechanism. Right. So what you I can. decide, yes, yeah. yep. So what I decide, there's several companies out there. This is RadiatorGrillStore.com. Okay. And I think you put it in the, in the links. But this goes behind the grill. But what I like about that one is it's one of the few that have actually a honeycomb look to it. Yeah, it looks just like the back. So if you may, you, know, you can probably take a picture of the back, but the back of the car has the honeycomb. The others have more of a hexagon look to it. Yes. And it and or maybe looks different. This looks like it would have been like if Chevy would have done it this way. That's what I think it would have looked like. Yes. To match the back. So that's sure. why I like that grill. It's also very stiff. It's a little bit, little bit more, more difficult. Rigid. To, you can't roll it up and stick it right, in. Or, or right, right. this is very very rigid. It's aluminum. Um, and uh, it should look pretty good when we get it in. It looks a lot bigger, don't you think? Like I think oh, yeah. if you look at this, it looks bigger. But when you do put it in, it, it's designed to cover the whole oh, thing. Oh, sorry. I was Hey, 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 hey. Sw swing it up there that, with a grill guard. Yeah. That picture over there really got my attention. So. <laughs> so, so, but you can see that this actually is an appropriate size once we get it oh, in. Oh, yeah. But you got to be careful. It doesn't, you know, it's, it's yeah, got some graded edges. Yeah, but, they but, didn't smooth but, those edges down. But, you know, it's 
as soon as we get it in, I think it'll be good. But as you've seen, this is not rocket science. You got to take all the 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 T uh, the hex screws, the T15. I yeah. think screws out of there. You got sure. the one seven or eight millimeter bolt that's here. Um, and then we'll take it out. So we'll go through that and then we'll okay. put it up in there. By the way, we're using Mark's amazing lift yet again. And it's gonna come in handy because everything is at a perfect height for us to access here. It's so much more fun to work on a car when you can get right to it. I see yeah. some of the videos that they're crawling around on the, you know, on the concrete. And that's okay, but I just love doing it this way. You can see it, you can video it better. Yeah, and people covet your lift. Well, it's they, it's, it's they all want to know what it is, where you got it, how yeah. much it costs. And I think I've answered most of the guys that yeah. have done that. I might have missed a couple, but it's a backyard buddy. But you can get it through many different sources. I choose backyard buddy because it's an all American. And Sweet. This is American steel. You see all some of the all other things about the Chinese steel that they dump on the market. I choose to buy yep. American and it's cost good. maybe a little bit more, but I think it's worth it. Sure. This is the secret one that you always kind of forget about. That's the one right in there. So oh, you can yeah. see that's yeah, the definitely. And then there's two here that I'm gonna gingerly get out because I'm at my lift and I'm gonna have to so I may maybe not use a screwdriver. Thing, but I may use a screwdriver sure, and sure. try to squeeze in there. So what about these? Do you have to remove those? No, nope, that's just part of that's it. That's part of it. Okay, yeah. cool. This does actually hang a little down once you okay. take these two out, but no, you don't have to. Great. And it's a little tight. So those are the ones that he's had to remove. I think he's got one left here to remove. Right here. Yep, I got the. And as soon as he removes that, it'll all probably fall down. <laughs> well, no, actually, the ones in the back. actually, when you when we take it out, you'll see it's it's okay. kind of folded in there. So oh, okay. it, it does have a little bit of a. Well, yeah, i just figured that's the it last would, but screw. No, but last one, it will come down. Yeah. All okay. right. So I got the two last two screws out here, and you can see this is gonna yes. flip down, right? Yes. So you can see. So I will then start. Let's see. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is take out that last bolt. Okay. Which is this one. And it's kind of neat because you don't need a, a nut for it because it's the same size as the drill driver. Right. Take that. And another thing when you shoot from a, 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 a lift like this, check out all the cool stuff that's underneath. Oh yeah. Look at this. Look at all the intricate you got uh -huh. your radiator, you got your pet cock valve to drain it. You've got this mount. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody show this in the video. And you can see you can control arm. Yes. Yep, your full suspension. Yep. It's right there. It's cool. It is. But there you go. I so agree. and there's the radiator. So yeah, it's gonna make it really easy to access this. And he has a little friend hanging on right here. Oh, I it's do. It's like a little butterfly. A little butterfly. <laughs> hey, that's not supposed to be in my car. <laughs> it was making it heavier. So here's the, you can see this is the grill guard. You're like, which, which way yeah, does it go? Yeah. <laughs> but it goes just like this. And there's a couple of sharp edges, but it will go in, I promise. I think I had to go in this way. I was going to say, you might want to go in that way. Okay. There you go. Now, you're going to have to be careful not to hit your radiator with that guard yep. as you're putting it in. That's the whole point of the radiator guard yeah. is to not... Get it in little by little. Little by little. you got to go slow. You can't go too fast. There you go. And literally... And there you go. And you can see, you can see the, yeah. you can reach the. Oh yeah, absolutely. So, and they make it bigger. So the, it's a little bit of an overlap, Uh huh. but as long as we, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to lower the car down a little bit to get it to eye level and just make sure the honeycomb is, is straight. Sure. Come right, on guys, let me show you how to work one of these lifts. Okay, so you got your handle and you got your up. This is your up button and you go up past the Last they talk, so you go up. It's gonna go up, gonna go up, gonna go up, gonna go up, clear. And then you release this with my handle down here. See, so I'm releasing it there. And I'm gonna stop. I wanna just go down maybe 
One more. There's my light. Let's see if I'm at the right level. Yeah, I think that's about the right level. So I'm just going to let it go down to its next stop. You see, it stops every six inches, and it can't possibly can't. <laughs> it can't possibly go any further because it's got those emergency locks. So even sure. if you ever lose hydraulic power, it's going to catch down, and it's never happened. So I get my light. Yeah, I'm right at eye level. Perfect. I know most readers. There is another company out there that has the Hexagon, and it's Paragon Performance, and that's a pretty neat little deal. And it doesn't use the zip tie. This is a zip tie. But I'm telling you, every application I've ever seen it, you can't find the zip tie. It's hard to see. Oh, you, yeah, that's how mine are put yeah, on. Yeah, and I've never, I don't think I've ever seen the zip ties on yours. Yeah, it's you not don't something see them. you even look for. Yeah, so, you don't see them. Yeah. Because so, they're black and they blend in with the. But people will make flash. a thing, oh, it, it, looks, it looks jury rigged or whatever. But I think this is going to, this looks nice. Uh, the Paragon one, you actually take off these bolts. Oh, really? And you take this out. This is apparently easier to take out. Then you've got bolts to bolt something to. Okay. There's is pretty, pretty quite pricey, and it's, it's a nice piece, but it then bolts to the three here. Sure. But for me, I, I don't know if that's over-engineering for me or not, but I just like the fact that I don't have to take anything more apart. I'm just going to use the, uh, the zip ties. Yeah. So what you do is you do a helper tie in the middle first sure. to just zip it there. And then you find your two, two or three spots that you want to do it on uh, to make it permanent. Then you cut your helper tie off. Gotcha. So it's a pretty cool system. As you know, I had my front bumper off when they were doing the, uh, the uh, wrap on my car. And as the front bumper was off, I went ahead and installed mine. It was very simple that way. But I used the zip ties and you can't even see them unless you get super close to the car and you know what to look for. I hid them very well. So it's a, it's a very clean install, and this one's gonna look even better than mine. So do they supply you with zip ties? Yeah, they supply these little super micro zip ties. Oh, cool. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. So what I'll just do is I'm just gonna kind of bend it in kind of like a U. Sure. Because I wanna feed it through and then feed it back through again. You got it. To help it, to do the helper. And look this. So then I'm just going to do this just to kind of put it in there for now. Yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to strategically hide some maybe two or three zip ties. And actually, I haven't seen this anywhere on any of the other videos, but there's a little tab underneath that I'll show you that I think you can hold it down under here. See this, these little red See those little red ties here? See the, the red? Oh, bumper? yeah, yeah, yeah. See that? Yeah. So instead of zip tying it up here, I'm going to zip tie it here. Just hold it tight against it. Sure, sure. That's one less zip tie to be seen. That's cool. Here. Because, you know, we're going to be looking down at the car. Yeah, sure. It's be up here. I'm not going to put any zip ties down around here so you can see it. I'm going to just use these two right here. Uh huh. And then, like I said before earlier, you've got You'll that do red it down tab there. down there. Yeah. So you will literally not see unless you literally stepped down and looked. Right. You know, I see some, some guys have put zip ties here and here and here. Sure. You can kind of see it. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's just you could see it if you want to look. But if you put it, these two here, it's going to hold it up and then the one underneath. So. Sure. But now that's easier said than done. Now i got to get it in there. Okay. <laughs> See, so I'm kind of like right in there. Perfect. And the beauty of this is if I don't like the look of it once it's down on the ground, I can do it again, right? Oh, yeah. So then you just kind of do it tight. Yeah, and it's and up there in that corner piece, yeah. so it's not a big deal. Yeah. And then you just, I'm going to cut that and sure. spin it around to the back. Sure, sure. Okay. Flash. Okay, so now I will just hold the Perfect. There you go. Yeah, you can't see that unless you get, I mean, I've got a light shining on it, 
Yeah. You still can't see it unless you get way up close. So yep. that's perfect. So then you'll put one right there. Yep. And that's it. Yep. And then the bottom one. Hmm. That one right there. Okay. Open. You want to just make sure? Sure. I'm thinking about it. It's good. Yeah. You probably can't get with anyone. No, we're going to talk about it. Okay. 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 Okay, there, so I've tightened that up. I'm gonna snap this off. Now you can take the center one off. Yes, let's take the center one off, yes. Okay, so when you're looking down from here. Oh yeah, you're not gonna be able to see you, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I'm so happy to have this on here because Every time I've been driving it, I've been worried about my fins of my sure, radiator getting sure. getting dinged up. You see people just driving it home from the dealership with it dinged up. Oh yeah. So, so now we're gonna go one more we're spot. One more spot underneath here for good measure. And Although, it's gonna be right here. Right there. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. So it's basically just a little bit of a little bit of extra. All right. I, I see it in there, Mark. See yeah. it. I'm just. I never saw anybody use that tab before. I'm thinking it's a. Might it's as well. Just, might as well. I'm going to. Perfect. There you go. Sweet. Now I've got something that looks like what I think will probably be on maybe some one of the future, the future Corvettes. They'll have this. They'll figure this out, right? Chevy will go, man. We should have done this to begin yeah, with. Yeah, they should have. Yep. Especially so. with the new Z06. Yeah. Should do yep. That. Yep. And it's got the that nice matching pattern, the hexagon, yeah. the honeycomb, I guess you could call it. Yeah. So there you go. So now let's put our. I'm going to raise the car back up. We're going to put this back, back on. on. Okay. And uh, so this is the fun part. We gotta put this back on. You always see people taking stuff apart. We gotta put it back together. Right, again. right. It's just interesting, Mike. What do you think this is? This part right here. Do you think that's like part of the, the Z51? Maybe the Z51 air vents would probably go there? I'm yes. Wondering. I like, think that's for the track. For the track, this would So they up. take this off and uh -huh. then put the actual vents that suck air in. Yeah, and then it goes right over to the, yes. the brakes. Okay. Yep. Or to the, yep. All right. That's what that's so for. I'm going to. Go in reverse. Okay. Here. I'll start one over here. Oh, Mike, wait a second. Oh, I've got a Z51 wing my good friend gave me. Yeah? Z51 chin spoiler. I, it's about the Why time. We... To, what, you have to put it in now. Yeah, so while we have this off, why don't we just bolt these down? These back, and then we'll put and then, the... Yeah. yeah, you might as well install that too. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Mark always kids us, but he's got part of it already installed. As you know, there this thing is a three-piece. So you got this piece, then the center piece, the driver's side piece. Yeah. Why is this not focusing? There we go. All right, so uh, we're gonna put this front splitter on now. Yep, thank you, Mike. That was a donor from your car because no you've got the ACS stuff. No problem, right? yeah. absolutely. So this is gonna go up in here like this. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yes, and then sir. I think let's put the left side on first, the driver's side on first, and then we'll do the center one. Okay. I think, I've never put this in before because I've got these screws all, already out. Except for one. Except for one, this one has to come out. Look, so that one has to come out that doesn't have to come out when you do the grill yeah. guard. So I will take that one out now. And it goes all together. And each, the centerpiece, you know, it's not a one piece, it's a right. three piece. So yeah, you yeah. just use these. There's clips in the two sides. Sure. And then it just screws in there. So cool. I can put this in. I'm excited man. I'm halfway yeah, yeah. to my Z51 look. That's right. Yeah and again you remember in 2016 on my Corvette it had a Z51 spoiler because Chevy made it as an option but they haven't done the option yet for the C8. Yeah. But I'm sure next year or next year after that you're going to be able to buy get the option to get the Z51 wing on sure. the non-Z51 car because it's just a popular look. Um, 
Plus, if you I, should uh, get the ACS one. That way, you can hit pylons in the middle of the road and it doesn't break it. Yeah, I think I saw a YouTube video on a guy that did that. Yeah, yeah. Just ran over like a concrete block. Right? Yeah, yeah. It His doesn't. Was, it doesn't even break the splitter. I think it's break a speed. <laughs> <laughs> I answered a couple of the, the the subscribers' questions about the mag ride. I don't know if anybody had a chance to see them, but I quoted Jim Miro, who's a, the famous Corvette test engineer, test driver, and he talked about mag ride, and I put in one of the subscriber answers that uh, Jim Miro said that the Z50, that the mag ride is more beneficial on the on street, the street yeah. than the track because you're on the street more often than the track. And it's just a really good quote. I, I put the spot in the video. If you look at uh, Corvette today, um, you'll see the, uh, the spot in the video. I think it's 10 minutes and 30 seconds in on episode 78. Uh -huh. and you can hear Jim Miro talk about um, about Mag Ride, how he loves Mag Ride. Sure. Yep. So it's kind of, if anybody was interested in asking, it's amazing. Yep. Hey. Man, All right. I, can't, I can't wait to see it. Heck yeah, man. Yeah. Let's get it out of the light. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You like that? <laughs> Love it. Very nice. Yeah, Look man, at that. It looks great. So impressive. Very nice. Yeah. And on top of that. We got oh, the grill his, guards, yeah. yeah. we got the grill. He's forgetting about the grill guards already. <laughs> look at that. Oh, I love it. They look great. Yep. Leave comments down below letting us know what you guys think about the grill guards and the Z51 front splitter. Check that out, guys. All right. Those look great. The side view looks great, too, man. Yep. Fantastic. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give us a big thumbs up if you did. Also, if you don't want to miss a single one of these videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. I will link everything that we did to the car in the description down below. And uh, I hope each and every one of you has a wonderful rest of your day. We'll see you guys out on the road.